and complicit. I mean, I'm sorry. But this isn't something that matters, see. This shouldn't be the big story, but but it is. So we'll, don't worry, we'll, we'll carry it for you and cover it. We have a big angle coming out in the next hour that Kit Daniels is working on. The real evidence is that the refs are cheating on key plays for the mafia. And that's in FBI files, but those investigations got killed. We're going to post the video proof of that at InfoWars.com the next hour. Now... Shifting to Anthony Gucciardi, and he's here in studio with us right now to break down the latest flu news and the fact that they admit the flu vaccine is not helping anybody, but their answer is, as we played a clip of a nurse yesterday, get more shots. So we're going to be breaking that down right now. And will you guys bring me a couple of bottles of ancient defense uh, in here? I need to take some out of the other studio. Uh, Anthony Gucciardi, break this down for us. So what's really interesting is I've never heard anyone talk about this before, ever. And we talked about it on air when the Ebola crisis was going on. I wrote an article about it. Something called Manos Binding Lectins. And I think this solves the entire answer to how do we defend against virtually all viruses, you know, cold, flu. And also it serves to answer the question, what is immunity? And how do we know if we're actually immune to these diseases? And ultimately, what it comes down to is you have the ability inherently, genetically, to produce something called manos binding lectins. And these, um, these things basically go ahead and attack the cell walls of viruses. And if the cell wall is destroyed, they, then obviously your body, your immune system, which is creating these things, can destroy the virus. And we're going to skip this network break because I got you in here late, but isn't it discriminatory against viruses to take them out? It's absolutely very racist against viruses. You should probably just let them destroy you and use you as a host body to spread and ruin humanity. Well, I should just 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 take 20 of the flu shots if they if they don't protect me and only lower my immunity in the studies. Shouldn't I do what the nurse said? Well, I've got good news. If you eat regular food and you take your vaccines, you're not producing any of these mannose binding lectins. So what happens is you're going to get sick and you're going to die. You're going to do your purpose. You're going to let the virus thrive in your body and wipe out everyone else. Because day the Rockefeller said there's too many yeah, of us. And exactly. So, yeah. Okay, I get it. Depopulation. Well, what it comes down to, and by the way, all of this is on government websites, and that's what's so interesting to me. This is from the U.S. National Library of Medicine, which we always reference because, you know, it's actually from Congress. It's considered the best, the gold standard. You know, Harvard worships it. And here they say, what is a, ma a mannose binding lectin deficiency? Manos binding lectin deficiency is a condition that affects the immune system. People with this condition have low levels of immune system protein called manos binding lectin in their blood. They're, these individuals are prone to recurrent infections, including infections of the upper respiratory tract and other body systems. They go on to say, and in, in various other things we're going to get to, that you will m m be more likely to contract and die of pneumonia. You will get the flu and potentially die from it. Virtually every single disease, the cold, if you have a lack of mannose binding lectins, you will have the common cold, you will get the flu, you will get pneumonia, and if you have a severe deficiency, you will die of those conditions. Also, they found that rats that are given extra doses of these actually are immune to Ebola completely. So this is how powerful this is. And you have all those studies, we'll show them to TV viewers and list them here on air. Uh, and, and, and so they're saying, take more flu shots, in fact, cue up that nurse if you can, even though it doesn't protect you. But then they won't tell the public what's in the government's own PubMed studies about herbs and things that are known that actually have these in them. Well, here's the crazy thing. So you can't just take a supplement of mannose binding lectins, right? You have to activate them in your own genetic code. For, for millions of thousands or whatever years you believe, we have had these autoimmune boosting attack formations in our body, these mannose binding lectins, and that's how we've survived for so We've long. had the racist in Yes, us. we've had the racist genes that promote these. And then scientists are freaking out saying, why are we getting sick so much? And they found it's because our gene systems that produce these mannose binding lectins are being turned off. And they say, we have no idea why. Right? They say it's definitely environmental, as in something from the air or the food or the water, but they don't know what. Well, check it out. It's because our genes are being shut down. And they say, well, you know, what's damaging our genes? Um, how about virtually everything, but mainly Monsanto's Roundup, which is in everything we eat, and pesticides. And here's a, a very recent study. You're not joining Chuck Norris warning people about Roundup, are you? Oh, I know. And virtually so extreme. Uh, 53 million people that signed a petition to fight against Monsanto as well pretty recently, too. Oh, well, they're obviously extremists as well. Obvious extremists. Genetic damage in soybean workers exposed to pesticides. And they go on to say that genetic 
Yeah, genotoxic and mutagenic effects of pesticides were observed in soybean farm workers. And we have 182,000... But what's wrong with having a mutagenic re reaction in your cells and getting cancer? Oh, exactly. I mean, cancer is exploding, but why even worry about that? And the viruses attack you, and you're completely shut down. So you eat this food, you take the flu shots and you eat this food, it turns off your genes. Honeybees die when they eat it. Yes, exactly. It's, it, but dying is good. And now we have a verifiable proof that this is happening. It's not just, well, it turns off your immune system and it does some stuff to your body. And well, we the Washington have... Post reported that, that farmers have to plant with these GM crops a sanctuary crop that humans don't eat just for the bugs to live because they don't want to kill all the bugs. They just want to get the poison food to us. That sounds totally reasonable. That doesn't sound like a sci-fi nightmare hiding in plain view or anything, Anthony. Exactly. Like the IBM robot called Watson that will decide which troops not get health care to at, at, at the government website, admitting it. I mean, that's not a big deal, killing the troops. No, and I know. And we might as well be speaking orcish right now because the thing is, this is probably the biggest health news ever. I mean, if we could, if we could understand this, we would wipe out. Now, get into the studies that you broke down because this is also a plug here. This is how we fund the operation. We did sell out yesterday of roughly a third of ancient defense. We did a limited run a few months ago, didn't promote it, got your reviews. I've been using it for about six months before we even had it. Uh, we sold out of that, got a big shipment in, instead of selling it for nineteen ninety-five, dollars Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Complex. I said, look, I'm not taking the flu shot. I want to try to protect myself and my family. I want to boost my immune system. What are the known herbs and, and, and extracts that are accepted in studies, documented to defend the immune system from bacteria and viruses? And we went out, sourced it, but then there were a few that we didn't get because they were so expensive. I want to come out with a uh, low-cost, high-quality line called Right Side. Now, similar ones are 35 to 50 more for very similar formulas. This is $14.95, normally $19.95. I'm, I'm discounting it. That's why it's selling out. People recognize this is a big two-ounce bottle, concentrated. It tastes incredibly rich and good. A lot of different flavors in this. It's got like 20 different Over known superfoods uh, in it. Uh, elderberry, flour, uh, I mean, go over what's in this and the studies we've got of what it does. Echinacea, ginger, golden seal, elderberry are some of the key ones that we put in there specifically hand-chosen. But the key thing to understand to me, and all of this culminates into this. But we pick stuff that's super high quality, but also isn't super expensive, but is known, and then we source the highest quality and then cut the price in half, basically. Exactly. And then we have, you know, right side to be on the right side of your health, to be on the right side of the initiative, anti-Big Pharma. And then we have InfoWars Life for super high quality, super powerful mega ingredients. But to understand why we're talking about all this, why we're always talking about these key ingredients like elderberry and ginger and everything like that, why we're pushing this because we believe in it, is to understand that these... This is what we're doing. Read them the studies about this stuff. Okay, so when you activate your immune system again, which can be done, everyone listening right now can do that. If you activate your immune system, you will produce mannose binding lectins. Again, those are the, those are the things that block viruses. And if you do that, if you activate your immune system, you can produce them again. And some of the research here, when you start turning your immune system on, researchers from um, Dallas Medical University found that sepsis patients had civic, uh, uh, they were recovering completely. Uh, tuberculosis, they had significantly, everyone who had tuberculosis in these studies, they had lower blood levels of mannose-binding lectin, so their immune system was shut down. Um, people that were dying of pneumonia were found to have virtually no uh, mannose binding lectin. So their immune systems have been turned off. So everyone has been turned off, essentially. There's a switch in your body, a light switch, you know, with a huge light bulb. And you die of cancer when you... When yeah, when you switch it off, it could be anything. That's what's so amazing. Um, it could be a bacteria, it could be a virus, it could be a cancer in your body. Sinus infections were found to uh, attack people with low levels of this. Rheumatoid arthritis, ovarian cancer, um, influenza A, the flu, different uh, cystic fibrosis, Candida, uh, Candida. Now tie this into the studies of why elderberry and things goes after the viruses. Explain it. Exactly. So what happens is once you start taking things like elderberry, 
Elderberry's been found by PubMed, National Library of Medicine, to yeah. go in and reduce the length of the flu because what happens is it starts turning that light switch up gradually to back on, turning your immune system's light switch back on. And if you can fully put it on, then you're just evaporating things and attacking the cell walls of viruses. But everyone's is probably pretty low, maybe mid-grade. Even really healthy people are a little bit up, but it's not on yet. That light bulb is not fully on. You know, it's pulsing with some electricity, but if you can give your body what it needs... To turn that light bulb on, once again, the immune system will just go full force and you'll... You showed the studies finally. from PubMed and stuff yesterday. Do you have those in front of you now? They're not in here right now because we already covered them, but I'll talk about specifically the PubMed studies showing that... Guys, do me a favor. Run in the other studio. It's on the right-hand side where he was at unless they cleaned it off and bring him in here. Or just type in Elderberry PubMed study flu. Go ahead. There's over 144 different ones. Um, for just for elderberry, ginger as well, echinacea, that's why everyone's used it for so long. And they found it's 100% true when we look at the documents from a thousand years ago where they wrote in their books, you know, like we, for some reason when he's affected by this, we give him, you know, echinacea or elderberry, their equivalents are Jewish. That's why it's called ancient defense. This exactly. is the known stuff in every culture that they would take when this was happening. And now we have it proven today in studies. And the reason it's such a bombshell issue, I've got three children. Uh, I don't want to get sick. I don't want them to get sick and die. I'm giving them this. They haven't gotten sick or the flu yet. Knock on wood, praise God. But it's the studies. Does it mean it's perfect? Does it mean it's bulletproof? Does it mean it'll stop at 100%? No, but the flu shot doesn't even protect you, lowers your immune system in mainline announcements. So why isn't the medical system promoting this? Because doctor's visits and drugs and hospital stays make tens of thousands of dollars. This is $14.95. It's simply put, and pretty much anybody could put out high-quality products like this, so it's not something they can patent. That's another reason the system is against it and waging war against it. Exactly. And when MSNBC comes on and says, don't take the flu shot, it doesn't work, something's wrong. You know, and the great thing is you can take this and start turning on, you know, that light switch with these, with these extracts. And the, the difference is you're not taking something like, let's say, Tamiflu. Tamiflu, they expanded the expiration date just so they could sell it to, to scare The British them. government's talking about indicting them. Uh, that's in the BBC saying it actually makes people sick and doesn't help them. And yet they spent billions of dollars on it here in the United States and the UK. They spent billions of dollars subsidizing it so they could push it on the public for the biggest flu season ever. It's it simple, is. folks. You need sunshine. You need vitamin C. You need all the... Uh, what is it that's in the elderberry and all these other things I mean, I know that you, we were just showing some of the mainline studies. In fact, he just brought them into you. But have they discovered what it is in the uh, elderberry and other juices that is turning these back on? So obviously it's a medley of things. You know, there's different chemical compounds inside of every single herb like that. And there's different vitamins, nutrients inside of that. That's why you can have something like, you know, let's say uh, ginger. And inside of ginger could be different chemical compounds that we also don't even know. They just found the new vitamin in potatoes a year ago. I mean, this. We, well, it's like ginger is known as a powerful anti-inflammatory. Yes, exactly. Or it's, or it's like you know, if you if you if you eat a, uh, a carrot, it has a medley of vitamins. Well, so do numerous herbs. But one example of the studies we're talking about, this is as far back as 1995, which is amazing because we could fund this. That's a PubMed study, right? If the government went in and funded this instead of Big Pharma, we'd already be 50 million light years ahead of where we are, and we would not be getting these sicknesses. So elderberry appears to be safe and effective treatment for influenza A and B. Again, from 1995, this is on PubMed. And again, PubMed is basically the National Library of Medicine, which all the top universities worship. So they freak out when something comes out that says, you know, elderberry wipes out the flu. Or when they say high fructose corn syrup, which happened last month, high fructose corn syrup is making you fat, sick, and you're killing And you. gross cancer. Yeah, exactly. One of my friends is a cancer survivor, and they told her, do not, mainline cancer the, the scientist, the doctor, one of the top ones in San Antonio, said, do not drink high fructose corn syrup. It turns cancer cells on. So the good news is it's getting into medical science as well. Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Complex, available at InfoWarsLife.com. Com, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Do five listening. more minutes with us, Anthony. I want you to finish up. Go over those studies. Visit GCNLive.com today. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with 
pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253.